Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer, and today, my friends, we're back with another 10 minute taster just for you on the PC. And now, today, we are playing Out There Oceans of Time. So, I saw it, thought it looked really cool, but we'd give it a go. So, let's give it a go, shall we? Um, so yeah, we've spent three years pouring our heart and soul into the making of this game and are extremely excited to show it to the world. This is actually the first game launch for a lot of the development team, so everyone's excited and proud to finally show everyone what we've been working on so hard for the past few years. We're committed to keep keeping on going on out there, oceans of time. Just keeping out out for future developments, we'll have more to share, but we can only make the game better with you. So in the meantime, please send your usual feedback, bugs, and anything via our Discord channel. Help us make out there even more special. With love, Miklos and Modern Wolf. Right, okay. So, what's it all about? Well, I think it's about exploring space and resource management. So let's uh, let's play the tutorial and then we can get cracking. So I'm quite excited about this. I love these type of games where you can explore. I'm just wondering how much resource management there actually is. Um, that can be a bit of a turn off for me in terms of gameplay, but um, light resource management, I am more than happy to deal with. So let's see how we go. She's loading in, and we'll see what happens next. Quite a long loading time here. Seems like it's stuck. That is not turning at all, is it? That wouldn't be a great start, would it? Although a lot of the time you see these kind of loading bars and they seem to get stuck and then all of a sudden they just spring into life, so... Hopefully it's the case. There you go. Century XX1. Earth's sun is suddenly and inexplicably extinguished. Humanity flees a dying Earth aboard great arcs, seeking refuge. After journeys that span thousands of years, some arcs succeed in creating new permanent civilizations. Others lose their way and disappear. Humanity once thought of itself as the only intelligent species in the galaxy. They were mistaken. The entire galaxy was governed by the god Cubes. All powerful entities that have taken it upon themselves to unite all species, abolish violence and end the concept concept of territoriality but not everyone worships these beings a persuasive gen genetic chameleon a member of the Lord's race calling itself Archon rises up the Archon's rebellion as the desired effect it destabilizes the order and established by the God Cubes need to slow that text down after a fierce pursuit the Archon is captured it's entrusted to Nyx captain of the Vanguard to be brought to the mausoleum of eternity a prison world Mmm, the plot thickens. That's funny, isn't it? It stays on that um, piece of text for ages. The Vanguard and its crew are now approaching their destination. They're about to accomplish their important mission. Okay, is this us then, the Vanguard? That loading thing needs to spin. Oh, there it did. Go check the engines. At this pace, we won't arrive before the next solar cycle. Oh. I must say, Captain, I've never met anyone who is actually eager to reach the mausoleum of eternity. We're delivering a prisoner, not getting locked up ourselves. Why should I be concerned? The deadliest beings in the galaxy are imprisoned there, all together in the same place. Don't tell me you're not even a little afraid. Mostly boredom that scares me. Once we hand the Archon over to the mausoleum authorities, I hope to mark the end of my thrilling career as a transporter. It's my last day in the job! You don't have a family waiting for you. My family is my crew and my ship, Officer Sergei, and I can't see myself staying at home when there's a whole galaxy full of mysteries out there. I must confess that I know little outside the organisation. I envy you being able to choose your missions to travel wherever you want. That's how you grow, officer. By testing yourself, facing worlds and life forms you could never have imagined. There are risks, of course, but I'd rather that than die ignorant or bored. The crew told me about some of your exploits. They say you live without fear. 
Being afraid is not the problem, we just can't show it, not when the survival of others depends on us. You will come to understand that after a few more centuries of experience. Captain, three unknown spacecraft approaching at high velocity. Who are they? Get me an ID now. Our scans show they wear the colours of the Archon. They're here for the leader. Full power to engines. They must not be allowed to catch up. Captain, uh, we have a problem. The interplanetary thruster isn't responding. Our engineers are trying to fix it, but the unknown ships are gaining on us. This can't be happening. Not now of all times. Why I order? This is the ship's cargo hold. Here you can build, repair and organise your blah, 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 technologies and blah, 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 modules and blah, 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 resources. Okay. So that's damaged, right? A ship reactor capable of interplanetary travel. Okay. The interplanetary reactor is damaged. You must repair it before the ship can continue its journey. Select the interplanetary reactor to access its menu. Right. Uh, fix, I'm assuming. The ship reactor capable. Anticipating the need for the resources is crucial throughout your journey so that you can always repair your ship and avoid worst case scenarios. The thruster is back online, but we've lost fuel and the ships are entering attack range. I wonder, how did the Archon manage to contact them? Hmm. Surely the Archon had a working network long before its war against the Lords. It must have transmitted its location just before capture. They've been tracking us ever since. A network? Who would be crazy enough to ally with such a destructive being? Not our concern, Officer Sergei. Right now, we need fuel fast. Click and drag relevant resources to the corresponding gauges in order to fill them. Hydrogen fuel. Right, okay. Uh, oxygen. And iron. Okay, so this is my bay of where I keep things. What was that? They rammed us, Captain Nix. Hull integrity compromised. Blah, 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 blah. How very naive. Did you really think you could imprison the demigod? Captain, the Archon cell has been breached. You humans always fighting for lost causes. I will pity you, except you tried to prevent me bringing salvation to the universe. So instead, I'm going to sit back. Enjoy your final prophetic flailings. Another impact! We cannot let the Arcanisk. I'd love to stay, but I have great plans for the galaxy, for all of creation, in fact. Such a pity you won't get to see them. The ship is in critical condition, Captain. We must evacuate. I won't let the Archon escape, officer. Nix, the Archon is long gone. We've got to get the hell out of here. What about my crew? Those who could have already have evacuated. The others are dead. We'll be joining them if we don't leave right now. I think I better leave right now. Before I get any closer. Oh, this is drama. Right here, right now. This is drama. I love a bit of space drama. Lovely little late title card, Modern Wolf Presents. Game by Miklos Studio. I like that opening, I thought that was pretty cool. In collaboration with Goblins Studio. Out there, oceans of time. Reminds me of um, the Outer Worlds uh, logo. Similar font. Right, does this mean we get to kind of like start from scratch with a new ship and stuff?
This is quite exciting. Good tutorial. Capsule. Destination reach. Terminating cryo sleep. Atmosphere breathable. Opening airlock. Where? Where's my crew? Sergey? I don't feel well. I don't think. I think I'm gonna throw up. What a fool. Of course, Sergey isn't here. No one's here. I remember now. I lost the Vanguard. I was in cryo sleeping on an escape pod. I must have crash landed on a planet. I'll almost certainly be dead soon if I'm not already. Huh? That's a signal of some kind, but what? Hmm, everything hurts. I shouldn't push myself too hard. Okay, what am I doing? Nyx is a survivalist. Her class makes her highly self-reliant in unknown territory. She has three action points. They are used to obtain rewards during text adventures and to activate the skills of crew members. Nyx has cons a consumable object that lets her recover elf health points. Click on this to heal her. Okay. On expeditions, party movement is limited. Maximum number of tiles the team can move per turn, so that's three. A number of tiles visible around the team, that's four. So movement and visibility. Oh, that's good, and it comes up if you hover, which is always handy. Each expedition member can equip an object. Some objects provide passive bonus, while others can be used actively while exploring, i.e. the recover health points one there, yeah. Uh, clicking a tile moves expedition members to that location. Let's do that then. The following actions are used to control the camera during expeditions. Zoom. It's a scroll wheel. Oh, nice. Very cool. Uh, scroll on the edges. Click and drag. Uh, move. WASD. Okay. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Understood. The blue arrow indicates the location of an important item. So that's the blue arrow. Move the expedition member from their current tile to another tile in order to advance that direction. Right, okay. We're going this way. Cool. Where are we going? Up here. Now oh, look. And there we go. Officer Sergey. Fancy seeing you here. Captain Nix, you survived. More or less, but the Archon, the Archon, the Archon escaped. We lost the Vanguard and my crew is... They ejected earlier, but their trajectory was different. I'm so glad to see you again. It's a miracle. I thought the Archon was going to kill us. It did, Officer Sergo. A captain without a ship isn't really alive. We have fouled. This is the worst possible scenario. Boo-hoo! I know all that, Nix, but at least we're together again. We'll think of something, we'll figure it out, unless you'd prefer to just give up. That's Captain Nix to you, officer, and you've made your point. So first question, where are we? Not a clue, mate. The escape pods are programmed to seek out planets with habitable environments. Beyond that, we know nothing. Any chance the organisation will send a rescue team? It's unlikely. Recapturing the Archon will be their top priority. Besides, even at the best of times, they aren't fond of failure. Do right. We have failed completely and utterly. It was supposed to be a simple convoy mission. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. It's our fault the Archon has escaped. All the people it will kill. Everything it destroys. That's on us. We have to find it and stop it before it does too much damage. First, we need to get off this planet, Sir Guy. So come on. Pull your finger out, son. I'm open to suggestions. Is your scanner working? I think mine was damaged in the landing. Mine's fully functional. I'll have to scan the area to see if I can find any trace of a ship. I'm getting something. It could be a ship, or it might be constipation. Ah, a ship. Good work, officer. Let's get moving. Okie dokie. Right, where are we going? This way? Let's do it this way. What's this? campfire. Point of interest, perfect occasion for the team members to, uh, of this expedition to test the action points. Oh, to test. To the test. The action points in class needed for a favourable outcome are shown. Let's go to the campfire. Okay. 
uh, we smelled smoke from a freshly lit campfire and decided to approach. Simultaneously happy and apprehensive about finding signs of life on the planet. As we draw near we see an alien lying near the flames. They don't look well, their breathing is slow and weak and they don't react as we approach. Nearby is a bag filled with, a blood -spotted, with blood spotted minerals. When they see where our attention has drifted the alien glances at us and suggests we take their bags. I don't think they're going to survive their accident. Um, let's help them, let's help them, come on. Uh, mend their bones. Our engineer manages to create a plaster cast saturated with ointment that accelerates the regeneration of bone and cartilage. However, they had to use all their stock to help quite quickly. The alien feels better and thanks us for help. It offers us everything it owns in exchange for the help we gave it. Okay, sometimes minerals and plants can be found on expeditions. These resources can be consumed during the expedition to activate skills or brought back and used aboard the ship. So the crew found six of that, whatever that is, and three of that, and so a guy lost an action point. Sometimes expedition members must confront obstacles that might injure them. Move the team over a hostile box to see the negative effects. Oh, I see. So something around 25%. I don't know what that actually means. That. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that anyway, aren't I? So let's go down here. But the right skills can get them out of a tight spot. Use Sir Guy's nano stabilizer skill. Okay. Action not possible, no target available. Alright. Not sure what happened there. What's this? Move the expedition. Oh, I see. I could have gone that way, but this is a probably a better route, right? Toxic cocoon. Our expedition group enters a ghost town. Time appears to have stopped, halted by the many gigantic spider webs that cover every building. Near the path we've chosen, we spot an enormous cocoon. The captain approaches, certain she can hear the faint noise of breathing. After a moment of silence, we hear a call for help coming from inside the cocoon. There's something inside. Uh, what should we do? Identify the creatures. Captain Nix urges to wait for the spider's return and after some time a trio of enormous Galactici Aranei creep towards the cocoon. She identifies the species for us and tells us to continue watching. As we do, we see the creatures disarm several web traps placed strategically around the cocoon. After these have been removed, we charge towards the spiders, making as much noise as we can muster, which forces them to flee. Though difficult, we manage to rip open the cocoon and free its alien prisoner. To thank us for our bravery, this being being offers us some of its scavenged plants and bandages, the wounds we receive while struggling with the coarse web matter. And bandages the wounds we receive, that doesn't make sense, but yeah, I kind of get what you're trying to say. Lost, lost one action point, recovers three health points, three health points, crew found five plant matter things. Right, okay, so. Where are we going down here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, anything cool to explore? Right, now we're here. Oh, no, can only go that far. Now we're here. Right. Captain Nix, the readings indicate we're already quite close to the signal. We need to pinpoint the exact location. Can you narrow down the search? I can try recalibrating. Stand by, Captain. Objective reached. You can you can now have the ship approach. Use the ship call icon tab to have it return automatically and then the current expedition. Oh okay, so you come in and get picked up. The ship will land next to the expedition team for immediate evacuation. Do you want to recall the vessel? Yeah, that's what I'm here for, innit? Here she comes. Go on the Vanguard. 
Okay, right, so I'll just get in there. And away we go. Unknown planet, successful expedition, goal complete. Experience 20, event 16, harvest 4, morale plus 15, gained a new crew, gained a crew member. Was that the alien guy or the pair of them? Uh, objective complete, expedition end. Or oh, maybe it means Sir Guy because I went there on my own and I ended up bringing Sir Guy back with me. Right, okay. Like it. I like that kind of flow. Keeping it kind of light. Look at this. It's magnificent. What am I looking at? Mm -hmm. Not really. It's just a rusty old wreck, mate. Try to see the potential, Captain. We can get it working again. I'm going to need your help, though. All right, so it's not the Vanguard. It's just a rusty old ship. I'm not a mechanic, but I'll do what I can. All the raw material we need are already here. We just need a refinery. Then we can dismantle the shield generator to recover the thorium we need. And with a functional refinery, we can extract resources from any raw materials we find. You really believe you can make this hunk of junk fly, don't you? I'll give you my word, Captain. We're not going to die on this planet. Utsa. Right, we're missing some resources needed to build the refinery, but it's possible to recycle existing technology in order to collect the necessary resources. Click on the shield to access the menu. Why, you little... Oh, I see. Disassemble technology, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we want to go... What do we want to do? Oh, piece of technology. Refinery. Okay. So I disassembled the shield in order to get the right materials in order to build the refinery. Right, I'm with you. Okie dokie. Now what am I doing? Enter the refinery. Allows you to refine raw materials into resources. Right. Uh, refining ores yields a wide variety of resources. Click plus to refine one. Manual. Okay. This iron can be used to repair the drill bit. Oh. Do I need to do uh, more than that? How much iron do I need to repair? I need two. I need to enter the refinery. Oh, transfer all. Right. Now I can repair the drill bit. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. The drill is now working. The resources needed to repair the interplanetary reactor can be drilled from the surface of this unknown planet. Close the cargo hold to begin using the drill. Okay. How do I close the cargo hold? I'm assuming I s blueprints that one. Oh. Drilling will yield the resources needed to repair the component. Click the drill to access the drills menu. The deeper the drill digs, the more resources it collects. But digging too deeply increases the chance of the drill breaking. Okay, so let's go for a seven drill. The drill is now working. The resources needed to repair the interplanetary reactor can be drilled from the surface of this unknown planet. Click the cargo hold to begin using the drill. Uh, yeah. What's the, where's the cargo hold? Oh, I see. It's one of these, right? Minerals, hydrogen, plants, geoscanner, drill, cosmic, sick bay. Module slot, storage slot, technology slot, hydrogen probe, refinery, minerals. What am I meant to be clicking? Cl oh, close. Sorry. Close the cargo. Hold. Uh, ow. Oh, I now transfer that. Right, okay. Select the interplanetary interplan reactor to fix it. Kidoki. Everything's ready. What are we waiting for? Let's launch. The air on this planet makes me nauseous. I'd like to find the Vanguard. Maybe we can salvage it. We should be able to retrace our trajectory without much trouble. And if the Vanguard can be fixed, 
I'll do it. That's what I like to hear, officer. Now show me what this wreck is capable of. Ready for takeoff. Here we go. What am I doing now? Any chance? Oh, takeoff. There we go. We are flying <laughs> like a manta ray. Very good, very good. I don't understand. I'm hailing on all friendly frequencies, but no one's answering. Are we out of range? In a way, Captain, according to the ship's console, we're in the same galaxy, but 100 years in the future. What? We spent a century in cryo sleep. I guess the escape pods couldn't find a habitable planet any sooner. A century. Imagine what the Archon has been up to during all that time. The organisation must think we're dead. We have to find a way to contact them. It's a long way to the Vanguard. I hope this ship will hold together until then. We don't have a choice. Are you sure you can find it? Yes, I still have the coordinates of the system where we were attacked. What are the odds we find our ship in any kind of salvageable condition after all this time? Well, it won't deteriorate in the void, but someone might have salvaged it. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I need my ship back, Officer Sergei. Set a course. Ooh, there we go. Right, where am I going? The blue circle represents the range of the telescope. Within this boundary, different types of stars can be detected. Blue circle, telescope, okay. The yellow circle represents the range of the cosmic folder. The ship can travel within this range. Okay. Right, so the yellow circle represents the range of cosmic folder. The ship can travel within this range. Okay. That doesn't really mean much to me, but there you go. This button gives you access to your ship. These buttons allow you to switch between galactic view, solar system view, and ship view. Select a star system within the range of the cosmic folder in order to make your first trip. Click on a system to move towards the location of the attack. Okay. Go here. Travel. And we're off. Um, right. So, there are several different types of stars. Later in the adventure, specific technologies will let you orbit them without putting the ship or crew in danger. Several celestial objects are orbiting this system. The nature of these celestial objects depends on the type of star. Space survival tips. Out there is a game of survival and exploration. Visit the right planets to gather the resources that your spaceship and your crew need to survive. Hydrogen and helium. Fuel. Rocky planet. Is that INFE, isn't it? Hull. And garden planet, oxygen for oxygen. Right. To orbit a planet or stellar object, either click one of the icons displayed at the top right of the screen or click directly on the planet in the solar system array. Be careful not to navigate towards the cent cent system central start without first installing the appropriate technology. Okay, so, all oh, right, I see. Uh, what's this? Gas giant, rich in fuel. That's always a good one. Let's do it. We're on our way to a gas giant today. We're on our way. Right, and now we probe. Bit Mass Effecty, like it. Probe. What we're we gonna do? Oh, oh, I see. Probe five. Actually, let's be careful and probe four. Right, we got some hydrogen. Transfer all. Lovely jubbly. Can I probe again? Probe five. What's that using? That's using fuel to gain fuel. Let's try again. Okay, right. Uh, let's stop. Warning, the ship's fuel level is low. Is it? It would be wise to extract fuel from the gas giant as soon as possible. Yeah, I kind of did that though, didn't I? Okay. 
Okay. Shall I do it again then? Go all in. Transfer all. Oh, I see. And then I've got to fill the fuel tank up, right? Drill, telescope, cosmic, probe, planetary reactor, refinery. Oh, I see. Slide the fuel here. Look. Yeah. Right, I see now. Remember that from last time. Right, so we're good for now, yeah? So can I go back to this one? No, I want to go in this one, don't I? Okay. And then I have a little look around in the metal area. So we've explored that. It's rich in metal. Let's go over here to repair the hull. Any repairage for the hullage is most appreciative. Ooh, we're going to land. This will be good. We're landing. So we kind of got three options then. You got your gas, you probe that. Your iron one, you explore. So uh, what do I want to do? Drill? Oh, I see. You drill the iron one, right? Okay. Uh, don't want to break the drill bit, do we? I've got nine out of that. Should we drill again? Got two out of that this time. And I want to do that. Yeah. What about my hull? And that'll be that. Slide it here. Right, I'm I, I see now. Resource management. Cool. Right, okay. So we need to kind of keep those levels at a decent level, so to speak. And now we want to go back to this view to see where else we haven't been. The rocky planet, which is rich in metal. Right, we're going to do some drilling, are we? Oh, we're going to scan. Rocky and garden planets sometimes contain anomalies. The geoscanner technology allows you to identify zones where these anomalies are located. Our crew can then mount the expedition to explore the points of interest. Proper Mass Effect, that is. Love it. Right, okay. This is, yeah, this is right out of um, Mass Effect. Assuming I need to follow where the... Biggest peak is I'll go up here or something. I don't know. It's not on the dark side. Oh, sorry. Use the cursor in A and D on the keyboard to identify the location of the anomaly. The scanner on the left of the screen gives a visual indication of the cursor's. Oh, look, there's one. Because the proximity to one, a planet can have up to three. Okay, so this is a seam of resources, oxygen required, objective. Okay, and I'll get a reward and a blueprint, potentially. Let's land. Let's do this. Right, now we get to have a little wander. Good, good. I like this. I like this loop. I could see it being a pretty cool um, Steam Deck game as well. Well, you could probably say that about anything right now, but um, yeah, this one would be nice to have a little uh, exploration with. Right, so we're going to go for an expedition. Shall I drill first? Let's drill five. So that's iron. And what's that? Silicon. Hmm. Doke, iron for the hole, yeah? Will I take that and just drop that in there for now? Get that right up. What else have we got in here? Uh, we've got plants. Chips oxygen gauge, it reaches zero. Oh, okay. Got that there, oxygen. It's a 99. Right, and let's stop that, and then let's go for a wander. Wanderlei Luxembourg, here we go. So we're adding Nix to the party. 
the members of the crew can be selected to go on the expeditions. If neither Nix or Sergei die on an expedition, the adventure is over. Ah. Up to four crew members can go on an expedition at the same time. Each character has a specific class. The higher the level, the more effective their skill will be, and the more action points they will have to spend. Space survival tips, tips survive this exploration. But blah, blah, blah. Engineer, Xenolinguist, xeno History, okay, right. During expeditions, each action using skills, visiting points of interest, gives experience points to the members of the crew. Eventually, they will gain levels and become even more effective. The experience points would be shared by different members of the expedition. Expeditions can be dangerous. It's best to pick characters in a good state of health. If the ship is equipped with a sick bay, then uh, health points can be recovered during the interstellar trips. The number of action points is limited, though they may be increased when the crew member levels up these points allow you to use skills or react to the narrative events during the expeditions. Each character's skills are represented here. They can be activated during the expedition using action points or resources. You can assign an object to each character before leaving for an expedition. Um, your movements on the rocky planets will be limited by your O2 reserve. This will deplete gradually each time you move. Okay, so what am I doing? Adding characters to the expedition fills up the O2 reserve. Okay. Some objects will also fill up the O2 reserve. Okay. It's possible to transfer the oxygen directly from the cargo hold to the O2 reserve. Okay. O2 reserve? Yeah. What about old... What's his face? Okay, recommended. We're good. We're going on an expedition. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. I'm not scared. The only thing I'm scared of are these loading times. Although they're actually not too bad. Right, okay, so let's get cracking, shall we? We want to go this way. We don't want to run out of action points. and We want to try and make it back to the ship as well. Each movement on the rocky planets consumes five oxygen. When the O2 reserve is empty, the expedition ends and its members are picked up automatically by the ship. Oh, I see, right. So I can't die as such if we run out of oxygen the ship just comes and gets us creak creak said my chair right what we got here we don't want to go that way I want to go this way uh, some structures that you encounter during the exploration may seem weak enough to be broken up an engineer's help would be required destroying these unstable structures will let you access previously unexplored places understood but well, I wouldn't mind seeing what this is first Crew found two resources of some variety. Um, will I crack that? Yeah, go on. Let's see how that works. Blast. And we're through. Oh, that's good. What do we get? Four of those, whatever those are. Right, okay. So we're not going to go that way, are we? We're going to go this way to here. Oh, and I've got to go through that, yeah. Yikes. Okay, and we're going to go to here. Uh, through here. Where's our oxygen? It's at 35. Uh, no, let's go through here. See. No, I think I've wasted that. Yeah, I should have gone through here. Oh, what's that? Go there. Go here. Ouch! Can I do something? Tweezers. Oh, yeah, dressing. Well, they were all right, didn't we? Okay, right, yeah, let's just crack on. Can't I just... Oh, I see. I only have to click it, I thought I needed to drag it onto her. Uh, right, okay, so we need to get down here. What's this? Some openings. Oh, sorry. 
Ooh, look at that. Where am I? Oh, emergency pickup. I run out. Objective incomplete. Harvested. Bit of that. Some of that. Some of these. Found some minerals. Extension of the O2 tank. Oh, that's good. I think that's fairly successful, even though we probably didn't do what we was totally meant to do. But that is all good. All good in the hood. Right, let's see where we go to next then. With an ex when an expedition is over, your crew members will experience fatigue. They can only be deployed to the field again after several interstellar trips. Oh, I see, that's to pass some time. Uh, click here to ac access information about crew members. The members of the crew are gathered here. After an expedition, they experience fatigue. Even fatigue crew members can still be used on board the ship. They can be assigned to operate various technologies. In developing their specialities, crew members can enhance the effectiveness of some technologies on board the ship. Um, what's, what are they going to do? They are going to do the drill, because I think the drill is probably one of the most important things, right? And he is going to do the geo-scanner. Again, one of the most important things, right? That's pretty good. Okay, so ship is there. We're looking all right. We've got fuel. We haven't got any hydrogen in the hull. Um... Okay, so we go, where do we go? Close the cargo hold. And then, should we drill? Drill four. Nice, bit of FE, bit of iron, bit of silicon. Okay, and then we stop. We take off. Very cool. Right, okay, so then back to the galactic view, solar system view. We have got, uh, we've explored every part apart from the sunny bit, but we're not meant to go to the sunny bit because we need an ultra probe. We do it? Yeah! <laughs> this will finish off the 10 minute taste dying style, I'm sure. Right, are we going to burn up or are we going to be alright? Ah, we need the Ultra Probe. Right, cool. No worries, Governor. No worries. Right, so I say we get out of Dodge and we have a look for somewhere else to go. Is that what we do next? Where are we now? Location of the attack. Uh, can we go anywhere else in here? We've explored that. Ship view. This view, that view. Where else can I go? That's where I am now, right? So can I go somewhere else, please? Governor. Oh, there we go. Oh, out of range. So I can only travel to somewhere. Ah, oh, right, I see. Within there, and that's the yellow ones. Right. So let's go to Abdil, the red... Oh, I've explored that. Unexplored. Let's go here. To Pill Dash 561, which is a blue giant. Walk tall, you blue giants. Right, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then we get a different system. We do the same thing again. We mine it, we have a look around, we see what we can find, and then hopefully we stumble across some really cool stuff. I'm liking this game. I'm liking how it's kind of simple it is off the bat. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be levels underneath it that are more complex as well as you go on and try and manage your resources which is really cool I like these type of games um, they are something you can kind of get hips deep into and basically create your own little journey and your own story which I think is absolutely fantastic I'm going to call a halt to the 10 minute taster right about there because um, I could spend another four hours doing this. So um, unfortunately the 10 minute taster is meant to be quite short. So hopefully you've enjoyed the 10 minute taster because I've enjoyed making it. Hopefully you have learned a little bit about this game and it's given you an insight into whether you would be um, looking to buy it or not. Uh, 
if you've liked the video make sure you press like that really helps us um, also ensure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel because that really helps us get new games into the game series to take a look at for you um, also uh, make sure you head over to our social media and that's at games freezer and we're on Twitter and Instagram we're also over at www.gamesfreezer.co.uk which is where we put all of our stuff that is where we put everything we make um, onto that website in order for you to experience the madness and the the beautiful uh, nature of games freezer so my friends until next time my ship's hull has been weakened and it would be wise to extract the resources needed for repairs from a rocky planet as soon as possible goodbye my friends Thank you.